Hi Libras, welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing a message from your person. Mm -hmm. Let's see whose energy is going to come in the strongest for my Libras this week. Y'all know if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also did the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. It's for my Libras. My Libras. See if we can get your person's energy in here. Spirit, help me out. Bring them close to me. It's for my Libras person. What's going on? Let's see what the energy is. Pop. We've got one. We've got bloom. Our love is pure. And will forever grow. Through the hard times, through the dark times, our love will emerge stronger. Ooh, somebody's feeling that. Strength with us. Mm -hmm. Good times and bad times. Devoted and dedicated to it. Pop, what else is coming out? Hypnotized. Ooh, I get lost when I look at you. I don't want to be found. Ooh, somebody's very in love. Very in love, devoted, and dedicated through hard times, good times. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Ew, that's nice, Libras. Let's see what else they want to bring out right now on the energies. It's for my Libras person. Mm. Talk to us. Ooh, we got one. We got actually got two. Mm. Guys, just with this one. This one's coming in. These are coming in on that bling. The hard times and the dark times. This one bothers me. This is um, the magician card. It's the illusionist. It's not like the tarot magician. This one is actually somebody is, you know, trying to throw an illusion. Not being authentic with us card is to be weary especially if you're in an online connection with someone you've never met you're trying to connect and hook up with somebody you've not met yet they may not be completely authentic about themselves uh just yet mm -hmm. but this one is the like the full card it is very much like the full card in the tarot of wanting a new start and revealing things and letting the past go. Moving away from the past. So this is saying that there's been something, a little bit of illusions. You know, we weren't completely authentic with each other or they weren't with us or something like that. But we're starting over. We're starting fresh. Or not really starting over. It's just a revealing of a truth to us. Mm -hmm. Or to them, or to you know, to both of us. Let's see what else this energy is bringing in, because this is would be implying we come out of the initial hookup stage to ready to dive in and and get a little more serious, step things up with someone. Let's see what else, Libra. Pop. Mm. Ooh, guys, really, <laughs> somebody's got a big ego. No, somebody, in truth, this one is about ego, but, uh, e you know, your ego can work on you in different ways. Either it has your head swell too big, or it makes you play small, put yourself in the smaller light. It makes you very um, self-conscious about your looks, the way you look, and stuff like that. We've definitely got something going on here. It's sort of like what I'm picking up is a new connection um, where we we were trying to put on an image for each other to impress each other, but we've hit a stage. We've hit a point, guys, of um, moving up in this connection of being real and authentic to see if someone will accept the, the real us. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's get uh, some, let them talk with the shadow deck. This is a new deck. I will put a link to it in the description box if anyone's interested. It's a Sacred Karmetic Shadow Work Oracle. Let's see what your person's going to bring out on this shadow work. Oh. Let's see what they want to say. It's my Libra's person. Talk to us. Anything you want to bring out on this? Wow, pop. Yes. Ooh, promiscuous promiscuous hold on to that well, we might I might need to pull a deck on that one distant mm -hmm. 
and overcritical. Overcritical. You just with that the the fact, like I said, we we may be at a distance from each other, uh, where we're talking more through you know communicate technology things like that. Somebody is over here. We already got the overcritical, uh, and it's not uh, overcritical of the other person. It's coming in, in more of self conscious. We may pull on this one. Let's see what's coming out because there weren't. There's another one coming out under it. Moody, Moody, on that promiscuous. Let's see the distance here. What's coming out on that one? Top. We're gonna get two on it. Spoiled brat. Ooh. <laughs> And dishonest. Ow. Spoiled brat dishonest. Spoiled brat dishonest. Moody. Hmm. Hang on to it. Because this seems to be the outer exterior of what somebody <clears throat> was trying to come across as they may be like a got more than what they really do. Come from better background than what they really do. And they were, you know, that's what part of the dishonesty was. They painted a picture of they were better off, maybe come from, you know, uh, background that's got money and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, and they were dishonest and they were doing it from a distance. Let's find out the overcritical over here. What are they thinking on that one? Materialistic. Materialistic. Wow. Mm. With that one, it's sort of, if, if you're the one standing in this energy, because I'm not sure they're telling me, I feel like they're telling me their energy over here with an illusionist, and maybe your energy that they're picking up, seem to be picking up or perceiving of you that you're overcritical, self-conscious about things, and that you feel like you're you're not good enough. You don't have enough, that kind of thing. I don't look good enough, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Let's come back on promiscuous. Let's see what's coming out on this moody and promiscuous. Let's see what they're saying with this one. Talk to us, talk to us. Pop, we got, I think we got two. We got confrontational. Mm-hmm, confrontational, moody. And drug use. Uh oh. Okay, just with that, that that is to me. I'm taking it as it's a, almost like a confession because of drug use. Yeah, being promiscuous or a reputation, guys. Gossipy kind of reputation. It may not actually be, but they may be. You know, think people think of them as uh, they get Lucy, Lucy, Goosey. <laughs> Hopefully you understand what I mean. And they do trigger on it. If, if they feel like they're being judged and, and considered as uh, irresponsible, promiscuous, that kind of thing, they will get moody and they are they will trigger comp and a confrontation will come out on that. So, yeah. So, part of the illusionist over here is trying to... Um, rectify, mm -hmm. not come across as what they feel like others are judging them as loosey-goosey. I don't know how else to put that. Use substance and get loosey-goosey kind of thing with anyone. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's more of a reputation than an actual fact about this person. I feel like uh, it's more of a gossipy kind of thing in whatever circle they're in. Mm, friend, family. Things like that. Uh, judge them in that manner. Mm, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's see what their desires are in the connection, Libras. See what their true desires when it comes to you and the connection. What are they really wanting in this connection with you? It's from a Libras person. Come in strong for me here. Come closer. Ooh, we got one. Quality time. Quality time means putting away the phone and clearing your brain of anything distracting so you can be in sure, so you can to ensure 
that your partner is your number one focus. Guys, y'all forgive me because sometimes y'all know I can't read. <laughs> Ow, 58 and still ain't got it down pat. Oh, pop. That one didn't want to let go of me. Reconciliation. Be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. Hmm, I'm not sure how to take that one, guys. Hmm, hang on. Hang on. Let's see what else they were wanting here. Because I don't feel like we were... We, we, we might be in a fallout for some of us, but for some of us... That's not the situation of where we they want to reconcile with us. And I feel like it's coming... Yeah, I'm getting chills now. It's coming in for some of us. Of are you going to go back to someone? Are you still open to a previous connection? Hmm. But for others of us, it may actually be we're in a fallout with this person because of all the... Energy issues with you know illusion and stuff. So yeah, oh that that yeah. Next one is accountability. Someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you, your partner, or both of you acknowledging the effect of your behaviors allow you to move forward. Hmm. For yeah, like I said, for some of us, there is account taking accountability. Uh, the promiscuous over here is very confrontational. They get, they're going to get triggered. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm not sure it's a fact about them. Or, you know, something they've done. Or if it's more of a gossipy kind of thing about them. Mm -hmm. But, we can see they want to be more authentic. Take accountability. Quality time together. If we are communicating from a distance, they want to come communicate face-to-face, -face, spend time together. And for some of us, they are asking the question, are we open to a previous relationship? Are we any chance you're going back? And for others of us, it is, will you come back to them? Can we reconcile this? Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's get on talking, guys. I chose two decks, two decks. If for any reason your person doesn't want to talk with these decks, I will open up the other decks. Yes. Closing the deck, I'll let them pick whatever they want. But we're using All Things Intuitive's decks. We're doing uh, the Hidden Truth version 2. New deck we just got in in version 1. Let's see if your person can use the deck to talk with. This is for my Libras. A person. Spirit, bring them in closer to me, please. My Libras. Can we talk with this deck? You want to use this deck? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We are getting a couple. What we got? I want to feel that way again. Mm. What do they want to feel? Curious minds want to know. Share the gossip with us, y'all. I feel you even though we are apart. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. I can't stop thinking about you. I bury myself in work to forget you. I regret lying to you. I love you. I'm starting to understand our connection. I feel you leaving me behind. It's almost coming at me passively, which y'all know that means put it in question form. Are you leaving me behind? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I'm becoming a better person. Ooh, getting two here. I wish I could share my good news with you. I don't react when people mention you. Is there anything else? Yep, there's more. They're going to keep talking. I left when I saw you with someone. 
I wonder if you are happy without me. Just being near you is intoxicating. I'm not available. It's coming at me passively, guys. For some reason, that means put it into question form. They're trying to ask you something. Is it you that's not available? Are they trying to ask you? I don't know. It's time for me to heal now. And I know I messed up everything. Last shuffle. Anything else? Mm-hmm. One more. I lost myself for a little while. Hold the energy. Let's see if they want to talk with this second deck. It's my Libra's person. My Libra's. Set the energy. Do you want to talk with this one? Are you going to talk? Libra's person, Libra. Hang on, guys. Libra's person. I'm going to talk with this one. We got a little bit warm. Talk. Yes, we're talking with it. Hold the energy. What we got here? I daydream about a life with you. I'm in a committed relationship. Hmm. I watch your social media. I'm being told. It's, mm, what am I hearing? For, for some of us, guys, take it as... It resonates for you. For some of us, the committed relationship is not a romantic committed relationship. It's an obligation kind of relationship. That could be a child, family, something where somebody depends on them and needs them. It's more like an obligation. I feel so happy with you. Keep talking. Do I still have a chance? I have too much to lose. I'm not financially stable. Mm -hmm. Somebody that is diving into work, guys. I can't be with you. I want you back. I can't get enough of you. I still feel the pain. So anything else with this deck? Mm -hmm, there's more. I'm waiting patiently. You didn't see my tears. I would do it all again. I compare others to you. Ooh. And I wish we could go back. Could go back. Oh. Hold the energy on the deck. Libras, let's get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. You guys, okay. Getting the LDR deck. That does stand for a long distance relationship, whether we're in one or not, which we did get some of the distance. Your person can use the deck to talk with. Libra's person and spirit bring them in closer. Keep feeling energies pulling back away from me this week, guys. There we go. Okay. Talk to us. Everything is working against us. I'm desperate to be with you. I feel like I get on your nerves messaging you so much. Wow. 
Anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. Please don't give up or get tired of waiting. Sometimes I think we should let we should go our separate ways. Why am I, why, why did I say let, guys? Mm, it's dyslexia for you. Sometimes I think you should find someone who can be there for you. Sometimes. Not all the time. Anything else you want to say? Keep talking. There's anything else. Yeah, there's more. Mm, fingers work. I'm worried you are losing interest. I can see you in my forever future. I'm so in love with you. I feel like I have known you forever. And last one, guys. Life will never be the same after you. Ooh. Libras, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Bless be.